your question is the equation of the curve y is equal to 2x minus 10 by x square plus 8. Find dy by dx. Show that the normal of the curve at the point minus 4 comma minus 5 by 8 meets the y axis at 0 comma minus 3. Now, to understand this, this is your curve equation. First, we have to find out the equation of a normal. For that, what we have to do, we have to go for dy by dx. So that means if you differentiate this, you will get dy by dx that is equal to 2 d by dx of x minus 10. Here comes d by dx of x square. If you bring upside, it will be x to the power of minus 2. So here comes x to the power of minus 2 plus 8 d by dx of x to the power of 0. So now if you differentiate this, what we will get? We will get here 2. Here comes minus 10 into minus 2 and x to the power of minus 3. And this will become 0. So therefore we will get what? 2 plus 20 by x cube. So, so this we get our dy by dx what they have so. Next we have to find out the normal equation. Or you can say gradient of a tangent. So first we will go for our gradient of tangent. For that, what we have to do, in place of x, we have to substitute the value minus 4. So, just we will substitute. So, here you will get 2 plus 20 by minus 4 cube. That is equal to, we can say, 20 plus 2 plus 20 by minus 64. So, if we reduce it, here you will get 5, here you will get 16. So now take the LCM that is your 16 and here it will come 32 minus 5 that is equal to we can say is 27 by 16 that is the gradient of a tangent but we want the gradient of normal so here what we have to do just we have to put the change the sign that means positive to negative and reciprocate it. So here gradient of normal. Normal. That is equal to we can say minus 16 by 27. That is the gradient. Now we will go for equation of a normal. That is nothing but what? y minus y1 that is equal to m x minus x1. So if you write the equation, so here we will get the equation of a normal. But here they have told us to find out meet the y axis at this point. That means this is your y x1, this is your y1. Here we have to substitute that value. So what we will get? So here see that y we know that is nothing but minus 5 by 8. So here we will substitute that also minus 5 by 8. And here minus y1. y1 is minus 3. y1 is minus 3. That is equal to m m is minus 16 by 27 and here comes your x minus x1 so x1 is 0 so here we will get x that is minus 4 but we have to show this that means we will here we will take it as y1 only 
we have substituted x1 we should get minus 3 so now so just we will solve it so what we will get see this y1 bring this, this side and bring everything to this side what it will be it will be minus 5 by 8 minus 64 by 27 that is equal to y1 now so what we will get see this so 6 into 27 is 216 yes 216 now multiply this and this we will get minus 135 minus now multiply this and this here comes to 512 that is equal to we can say it's minus 7 4 and 6 divided by 216 if you see this what it will be so you can see 216 into 3 is what 216 into 3 so that is equal to 18 1 carry 4 and 6 648 but here they have given 647 that means this is equal to minus 2.99 2.99 it's not 3 so therefore if you level up then it will be minus 3 so therefore your coordinate is what 0 comma minus 3 that we have to prove it so we can say now hence proof So like this we have to do it.